Chapter 12 starts with Alex Rogo remembering the story of a coworker who came home after a business trip only to find written in lipstick across a bedroom mirror, goodbye, you bastard, by that colleague's ex or soon to be ex-wife. Rogo starts the chapter getting home and talking with Julie. She had been out at a single bar with friends. Uh, this makes him a little concerned. They seem like they're patching things up. They talk about their life goals. Goldratt did something a little bit different with this book than other business books had done at the time, that he really injects a personal story and a personal life into the story. And what he's highlighting here is that Alex and Julie don't have a common goal in their life. Theory of constraints is useful everywhere. That's one of Rogo, uh, Goldratt's big points. And it isn't just for production scheduling and manufacturing plants or for writing software. So this use of the personal life is a big part of what makes the goal different as a book.